let's start off by going over some of the materials uh, we'll be using. And so um, I have two uh, yogurt cups filled with clear water. One's for a dirty rinse and one's for a clean rinse as you're painting. And I also have uh, Chinese brushes, but you can use regular soft watercolor brushes, anything soft. Um, I have a liner brush that's used for the Sumi ink, and I have a jar of Sumi ink there. I have a palette to hold the colors. The paints I'm using are uh, Chinese watercolor. Um, you can also use standard watercolor, whatever you've got on hand. Uh, watercolor paper, I've got a 9 by 12 Master Touch watercolor. It's 140 pound weight and um, I think the cost of that I got that at Walmart for $5.99 uh, the paints I got at Hobby Lobby for $5.99 uh, and we also have our roll of paper towel so now we will get started in, in beginning our painting the colors I'm using which I put on the little palette dish are phthalo blue carmine um, vermilion and gamboge yellow so now we will just draw some simple shapes onto the paper and simulating butterfly wings I'm just going just penciling in lightly and then adding that hind wing and I'm going to reach one out a little more as if in flight or flapping their wings. And then I'm going to add another little hind wing. Just making some little shapes here in the body. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just simulating the little body there. I'm not going to bother with the antenna right now. Uh, that'll come in later. Um, so for the second butterfly, um, we want to simulate some motion. So I'm going to put this one down here a little bit with the wing up and around. They kind of have a little triangular shape. So the front wing, and then here's this is the front wing here. I'm just going to come up and around. Watch how the colors run on the paper. They're absolutely beautiful. Then I take a little paper towel and I dab the puddles to give me a leafy effect. Just tap your puddles of water and allow that to dry. We're going to add some darker green down in the corner. Just tap, tap the paper and watch the colors run. And then if you want to let them continue on to other places, you can do that and just lead, lead the color with the fresh water, the clear water. And then for a leafy effect, I want to tap my puddles. And we have one more side to do, so I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to wet it. I flip my paper around and I am going to add I uh -huh. I need to take another brush. Um, I used the wrong brush. <laughs> so I need to re-wet my paper. I'm going to add a little darker blue, blue-green here on this side of the paper. And then we're going to tap the paper 
just tap it and watch the colors. Do I add a little more yellow? Not sure. And I got some on So if you get some on your butterfly, it's not the end of the day. So it's all right. Just try and dab it off. And then we're going to um, come in as close as we can to our lines, to our pencil lines. Just lightly run around. can soften some of the color up a little bit if you're not happy with it and you can just add some clean water and then we're going to simulate some leaves with the paper towel we're just soaking up the puddles of water I th I'm not sure but I, I think I want a little darker that kind of gives it a little sky effect so I'm going to turn my paper around here I want a little bit you can go back over this and increase your tone if you're not happy with it. You can make it a little darker. And I want to get a little closer to the line there. So you just wet your paper again. Pick up some color. And dab it in. Pick up your paper towel and dab for a little leafy texture. And then you let that dry. So I'm, I'm just simulating like a, like a bush and uh, wasn't too thrilled with this over here, so I'm going to soften that up a little bit. And maybe we could run some... Nah. <laughs> um, a little more blue there. Make that just a little bit darker. Dab some color in there. I could leave those spots there. Oh, it's running nice. And next we'll go on to the, um, well, here was a piece here I wasn't too thrilled with. Uh, I'll leave it. <laughs> uh, if you don't like it, you can sell. Spreading clear water out. And not so close to that other edge there where the color's still wet. And we're going to dip it in some more yellow. And again, starting at the inner edge. Just kind of tap your brush. If you want a little richer yellow, dip it in again. I'm going to take the excess water off that brush and I'm going to push back just a little bit away from the edge. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the other butterfly wing and I'm going to start with the far wing to the pencil line. Spreading out the water. I'm going to 
and dip it in some more yellow. The richest concentration, I would think, would be down here toward the, toward the front. And along the edge inside. And then you can speckle it through the wing. Take off the excess water. This yellow is really concentrated. And then we're going to do the same with the last large wing here. Is just wet it down. See, I ran over with some water so that additional color is starting to come over this, this wing here, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. And just spread it out a little bit. You don't want to get right on the edge if you don't want the other color to come over. That color will stop wherever that water line ends. We're going to add some yellow on that. Just tap it on. Tap it on, watch it flow. If you want to thin it out some more, add some water and spread it. Give it a little pattern look. I'm going to add, do the, the small wings in the back. Not going as close to the edge, more towards center to the end. And that's only going to take a drop or two. Color. You can take off some of that excess. here don't go right don't go real close to the edge how much color depends on you these are real light they're like a lemon a lemon yellow and they're, they're just so precious and then we've got one wing over here. Staying in your inside your edges. And probably just a drop. Dab it off on your paper towel and dab off the extra. That's it for the wings. Um, so that has to dry just a tad, just a bit. And uh, remember to remove your brushes from the water. And I can go on to the Sumi ink now. I, I still have some pencil lines, and as soon as that dries, I'm going to take the eraser and erase it. And, uh, um, this is what it looked like.
So I'd love to see yours and add whatever colors you'd like to put in there. And you might have some pretty pink butterflies and, and that'd be beautiful. So hope you try it and, and share it with us or share it with me even. And I look forward to, to seeing what you've done. Anyway, I'll talk to you later and have a good day. Bye.